Hey what's up, John here. If you're looking to create your very own website, you're going to need to get yourself some web hosting. Alright, web hosting is what's going to allow you to you know, create your own website and host it on the internet. Alright, so what we're going to be doing in this video is we're doing a full walkthrough on how to sign up with Bluehost, how to get the cheapest price, how to set up WordPress, which is an easy and simple straightforward way on creating your own website. 90% um, of the websites on the internet use WordPress. So we're going to be setting that up and you know, we're going to be doing a full walkthrough on how to, you know, create your own first post, customize the themes and do all the basic stuff in order for you to, you know, start creating your website and start putting out content. All right. So the reason I like Bluehost so much, um, you come over here to the word wordpress.org recommend web hosting. Bluehost is actually number one here. All right. So what's the number one recommended web hosting service for wordpress.com all right so what i want you to do is down below this video um, there's going to be a link for you to click on it'll take you over to the bluehost website where you can get the best possible price so it's going to be their current promotion um, it's going to be 3.95 per month instead of 7.99 all right so you're going to get a free domain name um, you know one click wordpress install and 24 7 support as well all right so if you click the link down below You'll be taken to this page and then you can follow along with the setup process all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our hosting so if you go to get started now all right so the first thing we're going to do is our select our plan all right so we have a basic plan a plus plan and a prime plan all right so the basic plan is good if you're only doing one website all right so it gives you 50 gigs of website space um, you can have one website um, one domain is included with that. All right, so if you're just getting started, you know, you're just gonna do one website, um, this is completely fine for you if you're just a beginner. Um, if you know that you're gonna have multiple websites, I would recommend the plus plan, but for the majority of people, the basic's gonna be fine. So simply click on that. All right, so now we're gonna enter our domain name. So you can either already have your own domain name or you can register a free one through Bluehost. So if you already have a domain name, simply type it in here, click next. If you get a new domain name, simply type it in here and click next. So we'll just do a, an example here. All right, so now we have to create our accounts. We need to do our account information. Um, so simply type in your own information here. Come down to the package information. So you can select your term length. So the longer you go, the cheaper it's gonna be. So if you do a 60 month term, it's gonna be 395 per month. Um, if you do a 12 month term, it's gonna be 545 a month. All right, so you know, for most people, um, just the 12 months is fine. If you wanna save a bit of money and you know you're gonna be doing this in the long term, um, go the more, uh, more lengthy, so like the 60 month or 36 month. So our setup is free. Um, our prime, primary domain registration is free. Um, these additional ones here, you can uncheck because you don't really need. So we uncheck those. Um, so your total is going to be $65. That's going to cover you for the full year. All right, so come down, enter your payment information. Click I have I read and agree and click submit. So what's going to happen now is um, Bluehost is going to do all the configuration. So register your domain name, set up your back office. And then once that's all set up, they're going to send you an email and the email is going to have your login information. All right. So simply click on the link that they send you in your email. Um, you know, it can take anywhere from, um, you know, 10 minutes, maybe up to a couple hours, depending on how busy they are. Um, but once you receive that email, click on that link and you're going to be taken to the back office that looks like this. So you simply log in, um, you'll be coming to this page. What you're going to make sure that you're in the hosting here and you go to home and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install WordPress. All right, it's super, super simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to where it says website. Simply click on install WordPress. Then you're gonna select your domain and click next. All right, so now you're gonna put in your admin information. So the first thing you wanna do is put in your site name or right, that's simply gonna be um, what your domain name is. So the, the, the name of your website. All right, then you're going to do your um, admin, your email address. So simply type that in. 
um, you want to do the admin username and admin password. This is going to be the username and password that you use to log into the back office of your website. So make sure it's something you can remember and I recommend that you write it down. All right, so simply click on next and Bluehost is going to configure WordPress and add it onto your domain. And again, this can be take anywhere from 10 minutes, it could take a couple hours, it might even take 24 hours. So if you get to a point where it's over 24 hours and it still hasn't set up, um, simply contact support and you know there might be an issue that you'll have to resolve. But you know generally it takes anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, somewhere in there. So what's going to happen is if you go to your website and you simply type in your domain name, if your website isn't fully set up, it might go to a blank screen, it might do, you know, set up and process, it might do an error. And that simply means that, you know, your WordPress or maybe even your domain isn't fully set up yet. So, you know, Bluehost is still working on it. It's going to take some time. Um, but once your site is ready, then what you're going to do is you're going to type in your domain name and it's actually going to show up um, what looks like a a site so it's gonna say you know a simple a WordPress website and once it says that then your website's live and it's ready for you to begin customizing you simply go to um, and type in your domain name and then you want to do slash WP dash admin all right and if you enter that and um, you know it comes up a blank screen or it comes up um, you know WordPress is configuring or you know, an error, um, that simply means that SiteGround is still um, creating your website. But if your website is good to go, it will go to a page where you can enter your admin username and your password. All right, so that's just the information that you did on the previous page, um, what you did here. So if you enter that, you'll be logged into your back office, which is gonna look like this. All right, and in here, um, this is gonna be where you can you know, customize your website, adds posts, pages, all that kind of stuff. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to come down to appearance and click on themes. Now, basically here is where you can choose, um, you know, through hundreds of different themes for your website. So you can click on add new theme and then you can scroll through. There's literally hundreds of different um, options for you to choose. All right, so you can sort by, you know, popular, latest, or you can um, filter. But, um, you know, for this example here, uh, let's go to popular and let's go to, let's go to this one here. So I just click on activate and then your, um, your active theme is going to show up here. So if we go to visit site, all right, it's going to kind of look like that. All right, so we need to customize it a little bit, but as you can see, it's starting to look like in that example. So if you want to actually customize it, what you can do is go back to your dashboard here, click on appearance and then customize. All right, so basically here is what you can do is you, you can add, um, you know, you can change up the menus, you can change up, you know, the sidebar and all that kind of stuff with colors. Um, so the first one is site identity. Um, so this is where you can add a logo. Um, it'll just pop up here. You can do your site title, which is here, and your tagline, which is here. So if you want to edit it, you know, you just change that. Next is color. So we can come down here and we can change the different colors. Um, so we can change the background color, um, you know, the, the, the different colors of here, the highlighted color, all that kind of stuff. Header image, if you want to add, um, you know, an image right here, we can add that. You know, just simply add new image and upload whatever one you want. Um, you know, background image. Um, you know, I probably you wouldn't really, really want to do that, but menus. So we can do the menus here. We can do the menus on the side. Um, but you want to create a main menu. So if you just create new menu, um, do main menu, and click on this one here, primary menu. Click on next. Um, and then, you know, you can add items, um, you know, you can put in different posts, you can put in different pages, custom links, and that's going to appear here. All right, so if you want to create, you know, a home, 
an about, a blog, a resource contact page, um, what you're going to want to do is you want to come back to the dashboard. You'll want to go to pages, add new. And here you can enter the title so we can do an about page. Maybe you'll do a contact page, a blog page. All you have to do for now is create the title and click publish. All right, so then what you do is you can come back to appearance, you can go to menus, and you can click the menu you want here. So we'll go main menu, and then you can add all the different pages. So if you go to pages, um, you can simply select the about page, add to menu, it'll come over here. And then whenever you go to your site, it's gonna show up in the top corner here. All right, so that's that. Um, the next thing is, if you come back to appearance, customize, next on the list was widgets. And what the widget is, is just the sidebar here. All right, so we can add different sidebars. Um, you know, we can add a search button, we can add recent posts, um, archives, categories, all that kind of stuff. All you do is add a widget, select it from the side here, and then it's gonna show up on the side. Pretty simple. All right, so that's that for appearance. Um, if you wanna add a blog post, all you're gonna do is go to posts, go to add new, simply enter your title. So your post title here, you're gonna add some text and you simply, you, know, you can come down, you can add it, different categories, tags, um, a feature image. You click publish and that's gonna be pub published to your website. All right, so you go to visit site and that page we just published is gonna show up here. Obviously I didn't publish that page, but you know, as you can see, it'll look something like this. All right, so that's that. And the final thing you wanna do is you wanna add an SEO plugin. And essentially what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow search engines to find your content, which is super important. So if you come down to plugins, you go to add new. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come over to search plugins, type in Yoast, click enter. And it's gonna be this one here with 1 million active installs. Um, this is gonna say install now. So click that, click on activate. And then what's gonna happen is, if you come over here, you're gonna see an SEO option. Click on dashboards, come over to features, scroll down and make sure that all of these are enabled. So they should all be kind of this purpley pink color. Make sure they're all enabled, click save changes. Then you're gonna to wanna to come down to XML sitemaps and make sure that XML sitemap function is enabled. So you click here, click save, and you know what, you're pretty much ready to go. So that's all you really need to do. Um, your hosting set up, um, you know, the essential SEO packages all set up. So all you need to do now is you need to start building out your website. So adding more content, adding more pages. And once you start doing that, your website's gonna grow. So all the basic backend stuff is set up. All you have to focus on now is adding more content and gaining your website traction. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Um, again, if you want the cheapest price possible, click the link down below and get your WordPress hosting package set up. Alright, so let's meet for this video and we'll talk soon.